hello everyone welcome back to my channel uh, in this video we're going to learn how to record a variable using SPSS for example if you want to change age into age groups then we can use the feature of uh, recording a variable so let me go to the steps directly first of all let me open a data set so go to file menu click on open and then click on data So I'll be using a sample data that uh, is already uh, available when you uh, install SPSS. So it's inside the installation directory within program files folder. So you can check my uh, earlier videos regarding how to get free sample data set using SPSS. So let me go to one of the data sets, demo.sav, which is uh, one of the most popular data sets. Uh, available free of cost to SPSS users so when I open the data set um, you can see uh, data view and variable view and you can see the data set loaded over here so here is a, a variable age with the uh, different uh, ages of uh, each participant um, or each respondent of your research so to record a variable you just simply go to transform okay and there is you can see the different menus over here so there is one menu transform menu uh, that you can see in the uh, menu bar and then click on record into different variables if you want to create a new variable and record into same variables if you want to replace the uh, replace the original variable so usually um, we don't replace the original variable because the original variable is also needed for analytical purposes so just click on record into different variables so when you click on report record into different the following dialog box appears so here you can see a's in the list of variables you can drag this in, uh, in this section so it asks for the output variable name you can give the variable name a g e g r p which means age group you can give any name okay but without these spaces you remember that the species variable name doesn't accept the space bar but you can specify details in the label age group and then click on change so you can see the change button here when you click on change then you can see uh, that age changes into age group but you have to specify the interval so go to all and new values and then here you have to specify the different intervals for changing age into age groups so uh, before that you need to decide the range the lower limit uh, the upper uh, limits okay so uh, when i check the data the age ranges from uh, 18 years to 77 years in my uh, data set so it may differ in your data set so you have to check the range first and then after that you can specify the different uh, ranges that you want to put for converting the age into age groups so for example I want to create an age group of 20 age intervals so uh, from 0 through 20 for example I want to put in the first age group give the value name 1 click on add and then 21 through 40 to add 41 through 60 free add and then 61 through 80 4 R, okay so you can even uh, use other options if, uh, if for example 61 through highest so you can choose for um, four okay just let me try that one so for example if you want to put all 61 and above in the remaining category then you can put the value four for that one 61 through highest and 20 through lowest you can choose this one so there are several techniques that you can use so if you become familiar with this option then you can explore yourself in detail click on continue and then click on ok 
So when you click, that shows you um, how the recording was done. So you can see that um, there were different age groups and the different values for uh, uh, for those recording options. Okay. So for example, uh, you want to uh, display the frequency for each of those age groups. Then you can just simply go to your data set. Now you can see that the new variable age group has been created in a list of variables. And you can also see the data for uh, for that age group. You can see the new vari uh, variable name age group and the data. Okay, so which is created by recording the ages. So go to variable view. So let me do some of the policing here. Let me give the values for uh, the codes that we uh, enter while recording the variable. So one was for 0 to 20. Click on add. Two was for 21 to 40. You can even write years. Okay. Add. You can change this to, to 20 years. And then three for 41 to 60 years add over 61 and above and click on add and click on ok so you can see the values being created over here now go to analyze click on descriptive statistics click on frequency and then if you gender the frequency table for that age group Select this frequency and uh, drag it into the list of variables and then click on OK. So here you can see that the tick mark is uh, on for displaying the frequency tables. Click on OK and you can see the uh, output, output table. Yeah. So out of 6400, so you can see uh, 0 to 20 years, there were 109 people the percentage was 1.7 percent and similar for other age groups so what if uh, you wanted to generate the table um, by age but not the age group so let's try that one go to analyze go to descriptive statistics click on frequencies and then take it back Select age instead of age group. Click on OK. So here is um, here I put age instead of age group. Okay. So when you click on OK, um, the output will be generated not by the age group now, but by age. You can see a table being generated over here is processing because the data set is large. So you can see that. Spaces generates the output or the frequency description for each of the ages. So we don't want this kind of table, but we want the table by age groups. So this is the reason why uh, we change that uh, age into age group. So this is known as transforming a variable or recording a variable. So remember the steps go to transform and then click on record into different variables. Alright, this is it guys. Uh, so, hope you like the video. So, if you think that this is useful, please share it with your colleagues. And if you are new to the channel, please subscribe and press the bell icon for instant notification when I post the new videos.